Scuba divers are underwater off Southern California's coastline right now. They have found hundreds of discarded toilets and tires off Point Doom. For local fishermen, this is a very serious issue. Hook, line, and sinker. One by one, divers hoisted up net after net full of toilets before they filled up a dumpster. We've been all too often and in too many places um, use the ocean as a toilet, so it just feels good to actually pull toilets out of the ocean. In this underwater video provided by HighlinerStudios.com, you can see some of the estimated 300 toilets that were discovered in the water just off the coast of Point Doom in Malibu. Home to fish, lobsters, and sea urchins, fisherman Glenn Dexter found them three years ago. These toilets are burying a significant reef, and they prefer the reef to the toilets. They don't know exactly how long the toilets were on the ocean floor. It's just junk, you know, and it shouldn't be, you know, off the coast of Malibu. Over the next week, this team from UC Davis's Lost Fishing Gear Project will work to remove the toilets and hundreds of tires they also found underwater. They're tasked with turning it into what's called a marine protected area for the state. Fisherman Paul Keir says they're doing anything but. In my opinion, you just witnessed the destruction of an ecosystem, an ecosystem that obviously had been there for a long time. Paul and other fishermen say today's work is only making it more difficult for them to make a living as fewer and fewer opportunities to fish off the coast are becoming more and more expensive. That people can't catch fish, they're going to go to other areas outside of Los Angeles. A war of words over the future of what some say is a habitat and others think was a dumping ground. We'd like divers in the future to come out there and feel like they were the first ones to, to see this beautiful area.